Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we will be focusing on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history, starting with the Stone Age. There are a lot of rules to this challenge and I'll put links to them in the description box below. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any episodes of this History Challenge. So let's make some Sims history. Ilsa's working on her painting skill. The rest of the Simbilis family is asleep. They have been selling vegetables and frogs that they've been breeding and Ilsa has been selling paintings to get money for their bills. They do have bills in the early civilization era and it looks like she did finish her painting. We are going to sell that. Ilsa needs to work on some of her other skills. Her highest skill is cooking. You wouldn't know it because she's such a terrible cook. The pineapples could be harvested. These could be weeded. So Ilsa is going to go off and work on her gardening because she has not been doing any of her chores. Her children have been picking up her chores. She needs to learn skills. Her mother is not getting any younger and Ilsa is going to be probably named the heir of the Simbilis tribe when she reaches her young adult stage. Right now she's still a teenager. It looks like she's completed her gardening. In the early civilization era they're supposed to have five good friends and two despised sims. Now we do know that Fatia is a despised sim but it looks like she is becoming less despised so we're gonna have to work on getting her to be more despised. It's dislike. She needs to be despised. And it looks like Ben doesn't like Ilsa. We are not done with the early civilization era, so there's still a chance for us to get some despised sims. There is somebody coming over to the edge of the Simbilis land that Ilsa doesn't know. This lady looks like she's pregnant, and it looks like she's a Simbilis, so chances are she's married to one of Ilsa's brothers. What were you doing over there gardening in the middle of the night? You shouldn't be gardening in the night. It's bad for the plants. Who are you and why are you telling me I can't garden on my own land. Your land is so close to mine. You pulling those weeds is making such a racket. It woke me up. Ilsa's wondering if this lady's a box head. Her fighting with this Fatia Symbolis is making her manners go down. I think you should leave and not tell me how to live my life on my own land. The woman is leaving. Ilsa's feeling very inspired from her nighttime gardening. It looks like Og and Aie are here inside the hut. You just missed the wedding, Og. I can't believe you got here so late. All of the guests have gone home except for Aya. I made that fruit salad that you taught me. And now Ronan and I are married and I can work on bringing the girl child to the Simbilis family. Wow, that's just magic that he just disappeared into the bed. Maybe you should think of getting yourself a mate, Aya. You're still pretty young. You're not going to the land of the dead anytime soon. I was talking to your mother about possibly moving off of the island. What do you think of that idea? Ghost of his father has woken Lint up. He's gonna go back to sleep. The sun's coming up. I should probably get back to the babies and my island. Did anything funny happen at the wedding? Oh, it was very romantic, Og. You would have loved it. Well, I'm really sorry I missed it. But I am so glad you came here from the land of the dead, my husband. Even if it is a little bit late for the wedding party. What's been going on while I've been away? The boys were all out at your favorite fishing spot and they were all fishing. We ran out of food a couple days ago and we had no food for the wedding feast. So the tips I was giving Ben helped get fish for the family and the wedding feast. That's really sweet to hear that my lessons to the boys helped out the tribe. Ilse is feeling a little bit tired and while she would love to stay up and talk to Og, she is going to go off to bed with her new husband Ronan. Isle is fully rested. She is going to get ready for her journey to Granite Falls. Now that her daughter is married, she feels that it's safe for her to leave the land. There is a strong young male on the property. Isle is journeyed through the day and the night and she has arrived at Granite Falls. She is going to set up her tent. This is the camping area where they normally camp when they come out to Granite Falls during pregnancy. And it looks like she's pretty uncomfortable. She is scanning the area. She's observing her surroundings. The reason that Isle is out here is trying to find some unidentified plants. She's not feeling that great. She's not as young and the journey was quite long. Isle has set up her camp. Not much has changed. She is going to go off and give her greetings to the nature spirit. It's been quite some time since she has come out here. Last time she was out here, it was to bring Ilsa to introduce her to the nature spirit. Hello, almighty nature spirit. It's been many seasons since I have been here. Hope that is all is well since I have been away and that you will continue to give blessings upon my family. Ilsa has recently gotten married, oh magical nature spirit. Please bless her with fertility and bring a girl 
little child to our tribe. She is a mistress of the woodworking table and she could probably learn how to craft the nature spirit or the symbolist land. So she is looking at how the nature spirit was carved from the wood. I think I could probably make a copy of you nature spirit on our lands and perhaps our family wouldn't have to travel so far to see you. I can now make a version of the nature spirit sculpture on the woodworking table. Ah yes, I will make a nature spirit on our lands in honor of you, almighty nature spirit. And then you will be with us every day. Oh, but I think I see some bugs get over here. I'm going to go collect some bugs. I need those for my herbalism. I just got three ladybugs. We are trying to find unidentified plants and it doesn't look like there are any unidentified plants out here. None of the plants that she sees are plants that she does not know and they all appear to be plants that are not in season. So she can't even pluck them to try to identify them. She is going to try to go further into the forest and perhaps there will be plants there that she can pluck. We're going to go to the Granite Falls forest. Now, Isle has journeyed further into the forest. She is going off in the direction that she recalls the cave where the hermit is. She is looking for any unidentified plants because she is trying to complete her outdoor enthusiast. And it looks like here is a plant that she does not know. She's never seen anything like this before. Maybe she can identify it. Oh, I should have wore my bug repelling liniment. Let's see. What plant could this possibly be? She, it looks like she was able to identify the fire leaf plant. Isle only has five more unidentified plants that she needs to identify. Isle's feeling really energized and she does see some insects over here she can collect. They look like some sort of beetle. She got some stink bugs. She found the cave that brings her to the hermit. So she's going to go in that cave to see if she can find the hermit. Now she knows the original hermit of Granite Falls died. She's wondering if a new hermit has taken his place. Exploring the brambles surrounded by thicket thorns and danger most assuredly Isle is left with only one decision. Step forward or retreat from adventure. She's going to step forward. As Isle pushes through the foliage with intrepid courage a bubbling brook emerges. Should Isle stop to fish? No she's going to keep walking. Isle marches through the brush in high spirits swinging arms and singing songs when a shiny object catches the eye. Ah, the temptation. Ignore that object. Isle has navigated the nigh foiling foliage to discover a sacred cove in the midst of the forest. A cove containing a mysterious sim. Travel towards the sim. So here Isle is at the hermit's house. She had been here before. She had made friends with the old hermit of Granite Falls. And let's see if there's any plants out here that she might be able to identify. Okay, I'm not seeing any plants out here that she possibly could identify. It doesn't look like there are anything. Lyle roughly recalls the direction to the hermit's hut and she sort of remembers that the old hermit liked to fish. She is looking around where she might be able to detect if there is a new hermit of Granite Falls. Maybe Isle could become the new hermit of Granite Falls if there isn't a hermit of Granite Falls. Ah, oh, but there seems to be a person over here. Hi there. What are you doing out here? Are you fishing for grilled cheese? It looks like the new hermit doesn't want to be friends with her. Hi there, I am the hermit of Granite Falls. I have been wandering around the forest looking for plants that I don't know and I haven't been able to find any. Do you know a good place to search? Well, the forest is full of magical and wonderful plants. I'm sure that if you just keep looking, you will find something. You know any plants that grow by the water? Perhaps I've been looking in the wrong spot. Oh yeah, there are many plants that grow by the water. I know many, many secrets of the the plants of the world. Just bring the flowers and buds to me and I will show you what parts can be used in the potions that you want to brew. So Isle has met the new hermit of Granite Falls but she's feeling really uncomfortable because she doesn't know her that well and meeting this new hermit is making her miss her friendship that she had with the old hermit. This new hermit also isn't very helpful in telling her where these plants are. She's just telling her to look. Just look more. Just look harder. So I'm Isle is going to look around to see if there are any plants around here. She's been running low on bugs. There look to be some bugs over here she can capture. This new hermit isn't very helpful. Perhaps I even know more than she does. She's very vague and elusive when I ask her about where plants are that I could find. I think she really doesn't know where anything is. Isle has found some Luna moths. That's a bug she didn't have before. wonder what those are used for. Most of the plants here seem to not be in season and the only thing she can do is uproot them. She wasn't able to find any plants out here, but she did find some insects that she had never seen before. She's going to
to head back. Here she is back in the main part of the forest. There is that fire leaf over here. She's going to go take a cutting from it. Perhaps she will be able to grow it in her own garden. Kyle is looking for plants that she doesn't know. She's wandering through the forest. She sees some plants, but they're not in season and she doesn't want to just rip them out of the ground. Last time she did that, they just died. And there's a bear over here. She's got to be very careful so it doesn't attack her. She sees Fatia at Granite Falls. I can't believe you're oh, no. here, Fatia. You oh, follow me everywhere, Isle. I can't believe you followed me to Granite Falls. You even brought bugs with you. You didn't even know about Granite Falls till I brought you out here when you were pregnant. You should just go back to the islands. Maybe Fatia stole all the plants and that's why I can't find anything with bugs. Well, I'll take these bugs. That'd be so like Fatia. She's a plant thief. She knows that I want to collect the plants and learn all about the plants and she took them all. Come here, little Katie Dids. I'll save you from Fatia. She'd probably steal you next. Now there's absolutely nothing. There are not even bugs around. She probably ran through the forest and grabbed all of the bugs. I'm never going to reach my life goal at this rate. All Fatia's fault. There a frog in here at least? At least there was a frog in here. She didn't take that too. So Isle has not been able to find any other unidentified plants other than that fire leaf. She is getting a little bit tired and hungry. She is going to head back to her campsite and rest a little bit and make some food for herself. And then she'll go back out in the forest and see if she can find any more plants. So Isle has returned to the campsite. She's going to make herself some grilled plantains. She's thinking about Ilsa. I'm wondering how Ilsa is doing at home. I'm so happy I brought plantains with me. The forest looks like it's not really providing today. I could eat beetles, but I'm going to eat these plantains. Oh, these plantains smell so good. They'll give me the pep and energy that I need. She is going to try to brew a potion with the new plant that she found. I can't believe these bugs are following me around, but then again, I didn't use my bug alleviation potion. I love to experiment. Force is just so inspiring, and so are all of the plants, and I can think about planting this fire leaf in my garden, and it will just blossom and grow. We're gonna have her take a nap. We'll take a look around the, the forest while she's napping to see if there's any plants around. Now she is collecting the bugs. Even if she isn't finding the plants, she did need the bugs. She couldn't progress with her herbalism without these bugs. And once she's rested up, we'll send her off to get more bugs. Yeah, none of the plants, as you can see here, are in season. Isle has woken up. She has just caught some bees. Oh, go away, bugs. I should use my insect repellent liniment, but I really have to go find that stone heart. I'm going to go off and find that stone heart. I know the way to the stone heart as easily as I know my way around the Sibyllis land. I can find it with my eyes closed at this point. Isle is collecting these bugs. She caught some uh, Jezebel butterflies. She is making her way over to the nature spirit to tell the nature spirit that she's departing. Oh, mighty nature spirit, give me your blessing so that I may get home safely and that Fatia will not attack me on the way home. Oh, mighty nature spirit. Perhaps I shall come back out to you, nature spirit, one last time. I have been unable to find the sacred plants that I was told about by the hermit. I am most likely going to have to journey back out out here before I go off to the land of the dead. I don't want to leave the land of the living without finding those last five sacred plants. But I must go back to the Symbolist land, almighty nature spirit. Please give me your blessing. And give me the blessings that I might give to Ilsa so that she may have a girl child and carry on the Symbolist family. Kyle has returned back to the Symbolist lands from her long journey to Granite Falls. I feel invigorated after coming back from Granite Falls. I'm going to plant this fire leaf so that I might never lose it. Who knows when I'll be able to get back out there. Oh, it's good to see that Ilsa is working on the gardening and that all of the plants that I have gathered will not be lost once I am gone to the land of the dead. I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Cricket House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow the Symbilis family on their journey through the early civilization era, it really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.